Europe is betting big on a new space revolution, and its name is Invictus. This next-generation hypersonic spaceplane, powered by the groundbreaking Sabre engine, could redefine how we access space. Capable of reaching speeds up to Mach 25, Invictus combines the versatility of an aircraft, the speed of a missile, and the reach of a rocket, all in one reusable system. Developed by a consortium led by Fraser Nash Consulting, along with Spirit Aerosystems, Cranfield University, Reaction Engines, and others, Invictus represents a radical shift from traditional vertical launch systems. Instead of requiring massive launch pads and tons of oxidizer, Invictus will take off horizontally from a runway like a conventional aircraft, ascend at hypersonic speed, and then transition into space. At the core of this breakthrough is the Sabre engine, a hybrid propulsion system that blends jet and rocket technologies. In the lower atmosphere, Sabre breathes in oxygen like a jet, dramatically reducing the onboard oxidizer load. But once it reaches thinner air at higher altitudes, the engine switches to full rocket mode, using stored liquid oxygen and hydrogen to continue pushing the craft toward orbit. One of SABRE's most revolutionary features is its pre-cooler system. At hypersonic speeds, incoming air exceeds 1,000 degrees C, hot enough to destroy engine components. But SABRE's pre-cooler cools this air to near ambient temperature in just 1 20th of a second using a complex helium-based system. This allows sustained high-speed flight without overheating. In early missions, Invictus aims to reach speeds of Mach 5, ideal for hypersonic reconnaissance, rapid cargo delivery, and efficient satellite launches. But the long-term goal is orbital flight, Mach 25. If successful, Invictus will become Europe's first fully reusable spaceplane capable of placing small payloads into orbit, without relying on rockets like Falcon 9 or Ariane. The program is being supported by the European Space Agency through its GSTP and TDE initiatives. Engineers from Reaction Engines, the minds behind the Sabre engine and the earlier Skylon spaceplane concept, are heavily involved in development. The current phase focuses on technical designs and risk assessments, with flight testing planned for 2031. 